wants to keep a closer eye on security in Midtown. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly looking to expand anti-terrorism measures already in place in other parts of Manhattan. CBS 2's Jay Dow live in Midtown right now. Good morning, Jay. Well, good morning to you, Maurice. The NYPD says it needs $21 million in federal grant money to put cameras like those all on the same system. The need for the upgrade, according to the police commissioner, is a result of the world we live in. The NYPD wants to cast a wider net and expand its high-tech surveillance network beyond lower Manhattan. It's basically taking the concept of hardening Manhattan south of Canal Street and moving it up to uh, the Midtown area as well. The system relies heavily on technology from the public and private sector. That would mean, in essence, the cameras and the license plate readers and coordinated from the new coordination center in, in lower Manhattan. The department has secured most of the $92 million it will cost to complete the Lower Manhattan system, which is patterned after the so-called Ring of Steel already working in London. The Midtown grid would cover a zone between 34th and 59th streets, from the East River to the Hudson River. Your every move monitored in a live feed for the larger purpose of collecting data that would hopefully prevent another terrorist attack. But testifying before City Council, Police Commissioner Ray Kelly conceded the NYPD would need help help to move forward with the new plan. Is that entirely dependent on a federal grant? Yes. The New York Civil Liberties Union has filed a lawsuit against the NYPD. It wants to know how the department plans to balance the city's safety issues with privacy concerns. We're live in Midtown. Jay Dow, CBS 2 News.